let's talk about our autofocus mode. If you press this button on the front, you change and you have your info display on, you'll see that you can change the autofocus area mode. And if I rotate this dial underneath the shutter, while holding this button, you can see the area mode changes. So I want to talk a little bit about what these modes are. This is the auto area mode, and this basically handles everything. It focuses on the closest object, and it also tracks a moving subject. This is our spot or single point, and you can select any one of the focus points, and the camera will focus on that part of the frame. This uses 9 point autofocus, 21 point, and 51 point autofocus, and this is 3D. Um, select the initial focus point and then hold the shutter halfway to focus and then the subject and the background colors are used to track the subject. If the subject leaves the viewfinder, release the shutter and start over. So this is actually kind of neat. It'll actually track anyone going through the frame. If you look at focus modes and we rotate this dial on the back, you'll see the focus modes change. The focus modes are pretty standard. This is autofocus continuous and autofocus auto, which do pretty much the same thing. You press the shutter halfway, and then you press AEL, AEF lock button up here, and you can lock it. So let's talk about the focus mode. If we rotate this rear dial while holding the button on the left over here with our finger, we can see the focus mode change. So we have autofocus auto servo select, we have single servo autofocus, and we have continuous servo autofocus. So auto servo select, the camera will focus on a stationary subject but will track a moving subject. A picture can only be taken when a camera is able to achieve focus. Single servo autofocus, the camera will focus when the shutter button is pressed halfway. Holding the shutter locks focus and the picture is taken when fo focus is achieved. In continuous autofocus, focus tracks a moving subject while the shutter is pressed halfway. So you can press the shutter halfway down and then track a subject and it will continually focus. Whereas this one, you press the shutter halfway, focus, and then it stays at that focus until you press the shutter. And then auto just kind of handles it for you. Let's also talk about this focus lock button up here. This lets you lock the focus in a certain point in your, in your frame. So let's say you know, you're trying to take a picture of something, but you want this side of the frame in focus. You move your camera over there, focus on it, press your lock button, and then you come back over and take your shot. Also, with regards to autofocus, we should talk about this light here on the front. This light is our autofocus assist light, and it might be shut off in the menu, so let's go find where that is. So if we go to our menu, and we scroll to the pencil, which is our custom setting menu, and we go to autofocus A, and then press OK, we can scroll down until we find our assist built-in autofocus assist illuminator and that's set to on and this will fire in dark situations it'll fire this light here in the front it's too light in here now uh, it'll fire that autofocus assist light just to kind of brighten the subject and so the camera can achieve focus and if you're tired of blinding people when you want to take a photo of them and you want that light to shut off come into your menu go to the pencil go to a autofocus and then down to a9 which is your built-in autofocus assist illuminator and go ahead and turn that off that way you won't blind people